Hey, this is Shane from Performance EV. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a bit of a break from looking at motors and inverters and take a look at a car. So up until now we've been looking at the power, the drive unit of the electric car. So we've looked at the motor, the inverter from this and leaf, but I don't intend to drive around in Nissan Leaf, so I needed something else to put them in. And I've been keeping an eye out, trying to figure out what car to, you know, to put them into, and, you know, checking out car sales sites, checking out eBay, and then I spotted something, and I really liked the look of it, and I put a bid in, and it won. So then about a week ago, this happened. So as with all the best YouTube-based car builds, this car arrived on the back of a truck, uh, bought it, again, in the, the best traditions of, of YouTube, sight unseen on the internet. So it's going to be interesting. We're going to have to see what, uh, what exactly I've got. The 1998 Porsche 911 Carrera. This is the first of the water-cooled models. Um, the 996 is the, the code they use for it and this is a car that actually I've really wanted ever since I was a teenager when they first came out um, you know I love the look some people don't really like the um, fried egg headlights but I think they look pretty cool this isn't, isn't a bad example actually it's got the sports package so it's got um, lowered suspension uh, active stability control it's got the slightly fancier wheels and um, yeah it should make a pretty good base uh, to make an electric car. If the car has only just turned up I really don't know what what the actual state it's in. I don't know um, what mechanical issues it might have or if there are any electrical gremlins hanging out. So it's going to be a bit of a voyage of discovery to try and find out where the problems are and to fix them. Still haven't fully decided if I'm just going to drop the engine straight away and start trying to put the electric motor in or if I'll try and get it up and running with the electric motor or with the petrol engine so that I can start to get some data on it so I can see you know what goes over the can that sort of thing. It is a late 90s car so the can messaging and that probably won't be that complex but we need to see what it's what it's like and then <clears throat> interior which while not in terrible condition it's actually in pretty good condition for the most part it's beige I'm not a huge fan of beige interiors so I think we're gonna have to do some modification to that and probably rip out the interior and replace it with a slightly better color I think the car is in pretty good condition for a 21 year old car that's done 130,000 miles. I know there will be a few items that we'll need to replace, some things that we'll need to repair, um, and some of this will need to be done before we can even start putting the electric motor in. That's going to be half the fun. So I'm going to start running the car build as a, a separate playlist and a separate series on the channel. We'll intersperse working on the car with working on the motor um, so that we can keep keep progress going on both tracks and then once we reach the right point we'll kind of merge them into one and put what should be a fully working drivetrain into a fully working car. I hope you'll join me for uh, both of these adventures and um, if you want to see more please subscribe, like, share, click the notify icon and thanks for joining us.